Back in 1969-70, I was very, very interested in interaction and I was very interested in systems theory and so on. And so I promoted the idea of interaction and this friend of mine, Stroud Cornock, and I um, wrote a paper about the future of computing and interaction presented it at a conference in 1970 and published it in Leonardo a couple of years later. But looking back, what I discovered was that most of the work that I did in the following years and almost all of the work that I observed around the world thought of interaction as action response. Someone does something and something happens back. And this, of course, still is very much there, influenced by game, computer games in particular. But what I realized eventually, uh, and I'm talking really only around about the turn of the century, when it came to me that all that systems theory stuff was about something much deeper than action response. And psychologists, in fact, didn't follow that notion that our interaction with the world is just action response. Because when we interact with something or someone, it influences how we behave at future times. And I knew all about open systems and everything back in the old days, but I hadn't applied it to my art. And so what's happened to me in this century is I developed a notion, I I tend to call it influence rather than interaction. So um, I and some other people, but not that many yet, make artworks which are influenced by the interaction in the sense that a few months later or a year later, they behave differently because of, if you like, the experiences they've had, so that they evolve over time. And that's dealing with an important aspect of interaction that is surely key to our lives. So that is something that's very different now.